Hi, in this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to actually download and install the Mahara software. So the first thing you got to do is click on the Mahara main page. There's something to, a link to download. In this case, we're up to 1.3. And I'm going to click on the 1.3.3 tar.gz uh, file. Okay, so we click on that. And you should have something that's about to download. You could save it. And remember where you saved it. Okay, looks like we got the all clear. All right, so let's close this. And now we're going to go to File Manager. Now we are actually on the uppermost root, um, uppermost part of my directory. And then here's important to uh, understand your directory structure. Now if you click on Public HTML, that's going to be, um, if you want to put, let's say, uh, if you want anything to be on your front page, this is where it goes. This is the front level of your website. And we are now going to upload Mahara. And we're going to browse for it on my computer. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to click on it. Click on Open. And it should begin to upload. Okay, it's starting to upload. Now, this could take a few minutes. I am going to put this on pause so you don't get bored to death. Okay, that actually wasn't so bad. It took a few seconds. All right, so our upload of Mahara to the website is complete. Let me click on this, back to the main thing. And uh, here you see that we have this tar gz file. So what we need to do is extract it. And it's actually, do I want to extract it there to public HTML? The answer is yes. It is extracting, and we are good to go. Okay, so let's close this. So you now you notice that we have this file uh, folder here called Mahara 1.3.3. Okay, so in here is actually all the folders and stuff that we need. There's something here called htdocs, and if we click on htdocs, this is where the guts of Mahara is. Since I would like Mahara to be on the front page of my website, I'm going to select all these files, and I will need to move them. And it's going to ask me where would I like to move them to. I would like to move them right to here, to public HTML. And let me get, just get rid of that. Okay, I want to move it to there. So let's say bye-bye to these files as they go. Jump. Okay, bye-bye. Go up one level, and here's the htdocs folder. Moving up one level, and here we are. You can tell we are on the uh, public HTML folder, and we have all this. This is the file that we just, the folder that we just emptied. We can get rid of it. All right, here we are. So these are all our folders. Okay, so. The last thing we need to do is we need to create a config PHP file to connect the installation files together with our database. And in this way, Mahara will be up and running, aside from a cron job, which we'll have to get to after that as well. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it useful. Thank you for watching.